that the uh, Apogee skeleton? The shareware skeleton? Please don't distribute this without proper authorization. So says my lord Apogee. Well, whoa! Hey, everyone, calm down. Realms of Chaos, um... Is this the first... What is this? Maybe it's like a heretic-like or a hexen-like? All heroes read me. No, we're good. Play the new game. Why not? Okay, that wasn't the right button, I guess. That was canceled. Play the new game. Whoa. Revolt of the My... M Ryle. The Goblin Plague of Gripes. And foray into the fire. Yeah, let's just jump ahead. Why not? Well, we just keep it on practice. How about that? So, I don't... I don't... Whoa, okay. It's it's a platformer, wasn't expecting that. Hey, look at that cool reflection at the bottom. That's nice. So I got sword slash. It's kind of weird. And that and that's it. And in the air. I guess, whoa. I I guess I transformed my sex. That's cool. Whoa! Okay, she shoots fireball. Alright. Alright, switch back to both characters. That's kinda neat. So let's go adventure. Shit! Okay. Oh god. Oh look, muck men, swamp things, that's neat. And everything dies in blood. Yeah. I can see mmm. That jump is pretty shitty though. So the goblin plague seems to be a huge problem. That sounded like a, a farting noise. It's kinda strange. That frog really isn't he's not even really attacking me. The the swamp boys Ow! So the frame rate is kind of stuttery and, and the scrolling is not super smooth on this. I don't know why. I don't know why if it's this game or just the collection in general. None of them have really had a, a problem with this bad though. I'll, I just destroyed that just I, I think because I needed to. Wow okay there's a lot of the green background is starting to already fade in a little bit where I wasn't sure where I was supposed to be jumping there. Let's try the girl. What was the- <laughs> She loves it! She's an ancient fantasy go-go dancer. Does the guy have a dumb animation when he gets to the edge of a screen? Whoa! 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 No, I like hers more. She loves this shit. So it seems the gems are kind of the thing. Uh, it, it's kind of my ammo. Ooh, I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. Actually, it wasn't super great. A goblet, a fine goblet for a fine husband and wife team. If the girl had red hair, this would kind of be a, if you squint your eyes, it would be a Conan slash Red Sonya game. Man, Red Sonya's fucking so sick. I fucking love Red Sonya. Ugh, fly. No. No. Ah, uh, thank God. All you swamp boys need to leave. The swamp is ours now. We're taking it over. God, that frog is so sad. He doesn't even know why he's doing this really anymore. So, um, aside from the character swap, it seems pretty standard platformer. Let's go. Let's go. See what happens. That ah, level cleared. Wasn't too bad. Got three of the street statues. Got zero, zero secrets. Fantastic. I didn't kill every enemy, though. That art. That, that art is a little... Not big, very many lies. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die here at some point. These types of levels, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Now the reflection is kind of bothering me with, with since I'm so next to it. What's this? Whoa! Death Blast! Huh? That was real scary, actually. I didn't know what was going on. It could have even fuck! Okay, I thought I grabbed onto the, the edge. See, I told you I was gonna eat in this level. But did I use Death Blast? I don't want to use it just right when I see it. That's too d fuck. What the hell? All right, the stuttering scrolling problem is is not great actually. Uh, let's try it through the fire and the flames. Ooh, it's a, it's a spookatorium. That's pretty cool. Oh Jesus! Oh, I can't take his weapon. Min Minotaur friend, not allowed. Minotaur. For Ooh, bats. All right. It's kind of more of a Castlevania style thing. Right, good time to switch to the girl, actually. My fireballs are getting bigger and better all the time. I'm, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, I gotta stick with the girl for this. Because this Minotaur's fucking dicks. What with, what with the, the spear throwing. Oh, Jesus! 
Yeah. Ow, my head. No secrets there. Okay. I did. It really felt like there was going to be shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Fuck. What was I supposed to do? All right. Let's let's do a practice jump. Where can I actually jump back onto this? I have no grabo. Can I jump down? No, I can't. No. Maybe the guy has better jumping. He actually has worse jumping because he's a big fat ass. Damn it. Alright, well, okay, I'll just run ahead, I guess. I'll just run like this. Ugh. Okay. Wow, that's not what I would expect that would actually happen. I thought I was going to get squished. It's harder than the realms of chaos. This is what this game is called? Realms of Chaos? It, 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 oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What? 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 What is this? I supposed to jump on the rocks? All right, try again. Try again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Phew. Man, that was that was, that was tricky, dicky. I have to I have to say it. All right, go. I'm almost done. Almost done. Realm of Chaos. New best time. I did it. Did you get a boss? Can you get a boss? I'd like to see a boss. No boss. That's fine. No mas. No mas. Oh, that's that's a sexy. Scaling down the animation. Oh, that's a sexy enemy. Look at that. Oh, work it, work it. Let's try the dude, though. I bet his is far sexier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's frumping it. Jesus, a dire wolf. This guy with his frumpy cloak, uh, the tunic, I guess. No, fuck this. I'm gonna go down this. I'll just run through everything. Oh, no, I can't, actually. Eh. Yeah, the way all of you. I hate the realms of chaos. <laughs> Fuck. So that was realms of carnage or whatever. It's a, uh, it's a good game. Th I think. Rise of the Triad. A lot of people remember this one. There's violence and and wanton and gratuitous violence. There's the credits. Developed by a bunch of nerds. Tom Hall. We all know him. If you 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 might know him. He's a fucking asshole that still has the rights to Condemned and refuses to make a game with 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 Condemned. I, I really wish he'd, he'd get those rights and make make a game. So I think this is a bit another build engine game, if I recall. I, I played uh, shareware demos of Rise of the Triad back in the day. Um, I think I yeah, a multiplayer too and shit. Um, I don't really. I remember bits of it, but not a lot of it. So we have Terradino Cassat and. Thai Barrett, Doug Went, Lorelai Nee, and Ian Paul Freely. Looks a little like a vagrant there. I'll, I'll be I'll be Thai, I guess. The Nicholas Island, one year in the future. In the thick of it, whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, we're off we're we're rise of the triad! It's happening! It's a little intense right now. It's rise of the triad, it's scientists! Jumping on, on little jump plates. No, sorry, sir. Rise of the Triad. Yes, I don't remember this game. Oh, no, Rise of the Triad. Oh, I'm fucking dead. What the hell? No, sorry, Rise of the Triad. And yeah, you jump a lot with these little jumpy jumping pads. Strange, actually. Let's Rise of the Triad. This is a door. I didn't think it was. That's crazy. Oh, jeez, there's lots of men here. Oh, I'm, I'm dead again. Ooh, uh, Rise of the Triad is a, it's a little intense. Um, I think there was a remake of that that came out at some point. Let, let's switch to Secret Agent. The Hunt for the Red Rock Rover. Kill a Gandile and Dr. Nobody. <laughs> they they, they got to decompress the graphics first. They, they did it. That's good. Oh god, this is this is gonna be one of those again. Jesus, the hunt for the game shower. That's garish. Hey, that shark's all right. Looks a looks a little high though. Agent 006, huh? For your eyes only, a government scientist have done stuff two weeks ago. The blueprints were stolen by a diabolical villain society. You've been chosen by the bureau to infiltrate the headquarters. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna rip off all of the secret agents. You know, I've had a file, there's four, okay, that's it, that's that's it for story. So, so let's actually new game it. I don't know this one at all. 
This is just the crystal cave mine, man. Why is there no sound or no music? It's the same fucking game. Why do they just call this crystal crystal guy too? Wow, that's 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 how you hit this guy, huh? Okay, uh, secret agent's a little too intense for me. I also don't know why. Um, he had a black uh like a suit on in the intro, and then he just got this red space suit. I don't like that. So we're gonna quit. It's a little too uh. Shitty. Okay, Shadow Warrior is in the collection too. I couldn't get it working. It it, it would just kind of freeze at the main menu, but uh, I tried a few more times and it suddenly started happening. Uh, so we're going to try to get through this as, as close as we can. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it. He loves the shuriken. Yeah, I, uh, whoa. Whoa, look at this event. Amazing. Uh, I played lots of Shadow Warrior back in the day. Uh, most notably, I, I bought it with with my money at the time, uh, like the full packaged version, no share or no nothing. Because I I kind of missed the boat a little bit on Duke Nukem 3D. I, I still played it, but I played the share versions, and I, I didn't really get the full experience. Played the N64 version a little bit, stuff like that. Oh, there's a dude over here. Nice, flash bomb or shurikens. I think there's a guy up there. He should be at least. Ooh, movements a little. Fast. Got the gold master key. Where is he? Oh, thank God. Banzai! Banzai! Racism! Yeah! And a silver key for this store. So I have to go hunt for that silver key. Um, I, I I play this shit out of this game. I even try to get my modem up and running and try to convince a friend to buy Shadow Warrior so I could play uh, Wang Bang with a uh, I get it. I tried to play Wang Bang with him. And we had some multiplayer matches going. It was just him and me. Uh, it was pretty fun back in the day. I wish uh, there'd be some way to play uh, the multiplayer again. Uh, you can't really, as far as I know. Um, there's a Steam version of this game that you can play. I think there's multiple Steam versions of it, but I don't think, as far as I know, none of them have uh, multiplayer in them. So there's the Naked Girl magazines. You could tell they're naked due to their amazing pixels ejaculate all over it. Now, it might... For those that don't know this game, this might seem incredibly odd what I'm doing. I'm controlling, radio controlling a little buggy, a little car. It's very pixelated. And I want to bring it over there because Lo Wang is not allowed in the track. So you want to bring it to that uh, little door. It's it's kind of weird. This game also had a CD. It came on a CD, so I was able to finally hear um, CD-ROM good red book audio that because when we got this game i finally got a computer that could actually do that shit which i was very very happy for you could also this is also one of those cds where you could put it um uh in a, a, a cd player and just listen to the music that way there's some animals hanging upside down and it's like get it shark fin soup you get it yeah it's funny Banzai! Sticky bombs. So these are just straight up mangas. Like I think that's maybe Slayers or something. A and that's a uh, Blackjack or or that guy. I think that's Blackjack. I forget his name. They didn't give a fuck. This also looks like Slayers, perhaps, or something. I'm sure some of you out there might might recognize these. Now it's like oh, I forget if this is Blackjack. It's some guy. I've seen this before, but they just straight up. Just copied these manga covers and just pasted them on there. It's incredible. What a bunch of ballsy idiots. Gotta be careful because there's some dangerous enemies around here somewhere. Ah! That door, that door was really, really loud. 3D Godzilla versus Earth Eater. Just wait, Gobzilla maybe? Maybe that's how they got around the copyright issue. Oh, I've always wanted to see Gobzilla versus Earth Eater. It looks amazing. Oh, grenade shells, nice. Yeah, you can see one of these panels looks a little different, doesn't it? Ah, oh, where is that? There it is. Ancient Chinese secret. Nice. Lots of armor. I'm a big fan. See, I'm kind of remembering how this level is. Now there's this guy. There's this weird evil koi fish. There's a guy chained up over there. I think there's something probably useful in here. Watch out for those koi. Not as coy as you think, haha. <laughs> Caltrops, pretty useless, actually. Ah! Oh. <sighs> so yeah, some guns in Shadow Warrior have multiple uh, ways to shoot them. Uh, this is just a single shotgun blast, and if you put three, 
uh, press the uh, button, sorry, for this weapon again, uh, I think it's going to shoot a triple shot all at once, which will devastate anything. Hopefully. It's these sons of bitches. They, these kamikaze guys, and he's going to get his ghost. Oh, no! Oh, he's somewhere. Fuck you! That was fun. But we're almost at the end of the level. I think it's in here. Any other? Just play, just play toy. 1600. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! I was too busy. Oh, but if his head explodes, then then he won't come back as a ghosty. God damn it! I'm I'm lucky that didn't fucking kill me. Bang! Seppuku Station. But yeah, this this game is still pretty fun, if not a little antiquated in, in how it handles you know certain cultures. But it's fine. It's fine. I killed everybody. I almost got all the secrets. Half of them at least. Uh, 3D Realms' is best time for this is 55 seconds? Fuck me. Oh, wow. You guys went all out. I'm trying something new. That was a pretty cool soundtrack, I'll have to admit. So the lead programmer was, of course, Greg Alsop. Uh, and this is Star Runner or Star Gunner or something like that. Uh, again, no memory of this. I don't think I've ever played it before. That's a ship. The Fisk 152. Pretty shitty ship, actually. It's just called these golf balls in the back. Oh no! It's Star Gunner! Or Star. I don't know. Star Runner. Man, these make fucking next generation ships look awesome. He's shooting every molecule around him but his ship. Just shoot the ship. It's super easy. Oh no, he engaged red golf ball thrusters. Whoa, that's intense. <gasps> Shabams! <laughs> that was great. Star Gunner, yeah, that's the one. 1996, so uh, that, this was deep in there. So I guess it's gonna be like a 3D space sim or arcadey thing. 3D realms. I'll I'll be 3D realms or not. I'm an ensign captain. I'm, everyone knows I'm an ensign. Scout mission. Stellar attack. Terran assault or aquatic combat. Huh. Sorry with Terran Assault. Terran. Whatever you like. Oh, Jesus. Are you fucking... Wow. And it's super slow, too. The destruction of the Zillion base fleet struck a mighty blow to the war effort, but not a deciding one. Already the massive Zylon factor. Yeah. I'm sure it's thrilling. Okay, we're, we're in the Supply Depot store. It's a little like Raptor, Call of the Shadows, I guess. Um... Now let's just play. I'm sure I'm sure I'm good. That looks awful. It's just a really generic shmup that's like pretty ugly. I thought it was gonna be like a 3D space sim sort of thing. Power! Power! Lots of power! Do I really need to shoot volcanoes? Are they posing a threat to the galactic zillion space whatever the fuck? Wow! I have one more nuke. A nuke, huh? This seems pretty dangerous. Oh, whenever I touch like a little stalactite, it damages me too. Okay. I thought I'd be able to, um... Either it should be a one-hit kill if you hit that shit, or uh, you don't hit that shit at all. And it's just normal. The sound effects on this are bizarre. It's like ting, 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 ting. Like, yeah, why does it sound like that? It's very strange. No! Star Gunner! No! 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 Ah, there we got all the um, 3D Realms All Star battles. We got Duke Nukem, got Billy Blaze, got ha Harry Halloween or whatever. BJ Blazkowicz, Blake Stone, Snake, and only really know and Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Bash, I guess Johnny Dash, whatever. And that was Star Runner Gunner or whatever. See, that's the classic 3D Realms logo. Is any Apogee? Apogee? Where are we? Terminal Reality. T-R-I. Aw, oh, shit. Some people might know this next one. Oh, no. We're getting straight deep in there. No, we're going in. We're going in deep and hard to number 10. Launch pad number 10. Oh, look at this. Spare no expense on these FMVs. Go, little ship. You can do it. What, whatever your mission is. 
It's a lot of gray on gray, isn't it? We got we got a new fish planet. Or shrink it. What? <laughs> oh no, it's the logo that destroyed that it's terminal velocity. I have fond memories of this game. Used to play it uh, at my friend's PC all the time because he had a computer that could run it. Uh, so we're gonna start this up. Play a game. Let's play the game. Let's do it. Episode one: Tactical Strike. Episode two: Heavy Fire. Episode three: The Mad God. I like that. We might check that one out. 2704 AD. Earth heads a council called the Alliance of Spacefaring Alien Races, or ASAFAR. A treaty has been signed to ensure peaceful conduct between species. Perimeter defense computers, PDCs, have been provided by Earth's protected system. Peace has reigned for over 70 years. On September 2nd, 22704, armadas from all other member systems descended on Earth, destroying crucial installations and killing a good amount of people. You are an Earth pilot flying the TVT-202 or something. A fighter few can handle and even fewer can afford. Oh, jeez. You're going to Ymir. Going to Barnard Star. St just outside of Barnard Star Bar. Named for the world's starting ice giant of Norse mythology, Ymir is a harsh, forbidding planet. Barnard scientists are working there a super cool laser system called the Gunnar, named after the Norse king. It is a full order of magnitude more powerful than anything in existence. Targeting the Ymir power plants and sensor arrays, then find the ice tunnel to the Gunnar underground test site. If the power plant is destroyed, you should be able to get paid. So I can uh, select the Ymir Snow Scout, slow but lethal. And uh, that's that's it. Ymir Ice Rider, fast and powerful though. Okay, we're gonna destroy this. I can do it. I can do it. Shabams! All right, we're we're terminal velocity. We're gonna do it. I hope I don't crash right at the start. So yeah, it's a very arcadey game. You just kind of float. You actually go on your own accord. Uh, your momentum is always happening. I think I can uh, go faster with the uh, the other D-pad. Oh shit, fucker! Oh shit! Afterburner, I guess. So you can speed up. Uh, which is like indicated by your blue meter what speed you're going in and you just want to take care of your targets blast everything out of the sky do the mission objectives this is a lot better than fucking star runner gunner isn't it yeah fuck you see this game is really hype because my friend as i uh, discussed before had a pentium and a pentium was a type of very fast computer back in the day yeah, yeah, yeah. no die this base needs to die die further excellent it's so realistic I destroyed my target I'm very happy with with how that went dun, dun. So that distance uh, for our next target I am not on the right course get back on the right course there you go speed up speed up speed up down speed down stupid oh fuck I'm using kind of a weird mouse and keyboard sort of setup it's not optimal, but it's okay. This is, this is like calming, classy-ass music to shoot things by. It's kind of like bases you can fly into. And now you're in like this corridor section. Uh, it's pretty cool, but there's like bastard fucking guys all the time. And you gotta speed in and boom out. Just go, go, go. It's pretty cool. There's like some variety in, in there, but uh, traditionally I think the entire game is basically shoot everything you see. Look at that wavy fucking texture, that shit's nuts. Shoot everything you see, uh, kill your targets, and basically that's it. I, I don't recall if there's any stuff like, you know, um, protecting convoys, things like that. Ooh, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Pucker up, pucker up, there you go. Oh, fuck! I got an Ion 2! Yeah! No cable TV! This is the least accurate weapon I've ever seen in my life. Come on, come on. Alright, no, I'm out of it. Mission complete. Awesome. So now you have to fucking hoof it. Get to uh, the kind of escape point. Like a hyper jump point, I believe. There's another similar game that got released to Terminal Velocity. I, I'm not even sure it's by the same developer. It's called Fury 3. And I think Fury 3, it was called 3, not because it was a numbered sequel. That was just the name of it. 
like uh, like the third Fury or something like that. I don't know. I think it was out on Windows 95 at the time, or you know, uh, somewhere after this. Because this game is 1995, which is weird since it looks better than Star Gunner, a game that was released later. And Fury 3, I remember playing that a shitload too. I really like that game, and this is really similar to it. I'm not sure if they have any greater connection, but they probably do. Alright, there's my hyper jump. Get, get into this slinky. We get the fuck out of here. See you later, fuckers! <laughs> Air Dragons destroyed all of them. Ground Dragons destroyed everyone. Organic entities destroyed. I fucked them up. Tunnels found 100%. Fucking terminal velocity, bitch. All right, so this is Wacky Wheels. Copyright Beavis Soft. Uh, I guess this is some type of racer, which is good, because it's not like there was many racing games in this collection anyway. Whoa, Apogee. This is getting too elaborate now. No one's impressed. Whoa! Everyone calm down. It's a kart racer? Please visit our zoo again. What the hell is this? Oh, there's a little panda! A dog <gasps> and a shark! Combat play. So I guess that was the in-engine Apogee sort of multiplayer suite because it was in there for Rise of the Triad. Uh, let's just do a single player racing. How about fun? Okay, there's there's Blombo, Ringo the raccoon, Razor the shark, I like him. Uno the panda, Sultan the camel, Morris the moose, Peggles the turbo squawk, I mean the pelican, whatever. What's a tiger? Tiki. Blombo, fuck all y'all, I'm fucking Razor. Suck my dick! Alright, let's go, bitches. Oh, gotta find which bin actually does it. This is awful. Like, this looks worse than Mario Kart 1. And essentially, it's the same thing. Like, it looks like Mozart. Oh, God. The sound effects are also amazing. Now, there are weapons on the track, it seems. Trying to get them, but... And there's, like, hedgehogs there. Okay, I missed the cannonballs. Whatever it was. I'm third. Not doing too bad. Badly. Fuck. Okay, the devil is telling me it's my last lap. What? I just shot a hedgehog? Why do I- why am I shooting hedgehogs? Oh, watch out for that bombo! I won first. Good driving, keep it up. Suck my dick! Alright, we're in an aqua stage, so I surely have the advantage. And I can just shoot hedgehogs, like they're- Like they're ammo. God, the animal sound effects are fucking the worst. What? No, what? I- but I'm a shark, though! Oh, triple fireball, that's not bad. I'll take you were playing Mario Kart and you shot toads as ammo. Like, toad was just a, a tool. I mean, he basically is, when I think about it. Fucking Rambo Raccoon. You fucking bandito. This is still, like, in terms of Mario Kart ripoffs, I really fondly remember Street Racers. Which I think even got a PC port. There was, like, there were a bunch of racist stereotypes of people. But the uh, scrolling was smooth and the track layouts were a lot better than this. It was more closer to Mario Kart than, th than this could hope to be, because this is just a little archaic by, by the standard set. Alright, Beelzebub has told us that uh, we were thumping heart sound effects. I don't think it's that intense, dude, but I'm, I'm glad the game thinks it's that great. And I beat all the motherfuckers. I'm the best. Excellent skill! God, everything about this screen, look at it! Just look at it, Jesus! Alright, people might recognize this screen. Wolfie Wolfenstein 3D. Who doesn't know Wolfenstein? We'll, we'll play this just a little bit just to get some of my thoughts out. I love this screen. I, I used to play Wolfie um, a lot back in the day um, on my uh, computer. Did not have a sound blaster like I mentioned so many times before. Let's read this. Just why not? Check it out already. No. Let's get to the story. Loyal little VJ! He looks like a tiny child body with a man head. A super detailed man head. Like he has supple, like smooth hands and feet too, it's strange. This is the epic story of BJ Blaskovitz, American spy for the Allied forces in World War II. Facing horrific danger, sometimes he only had a knife in his wits between him and death. 
His escape from Nazi imprisonment is the stuff of contemporary legend. Herein are the tales of our hero and his nighttime assault on the on the wagers of chemical war. His assignment to eliminate uh, Richard Spencer, the creator of the weapons, his search for the plans to the 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 gift krieg or poison war, and his final battle against the man organizing the insidious war, General Fettergeist. Fettergeist. This is the tale of how B.J. Blaskovitz became a symbol of freedom and justice, how he stood against unfold odds and dealt the enemy a crippling body blow. Let's scream! That's so awesome! Captain William J. B.J. Blaskovitz, you've got a gun and a deadly mission ahead. Good luck. Hey, if you make it, you'll have something to tell your grandkids about. Assuming you will procreate. That's, that's, no, we shouldn't assume your lifestyle, sir, but... Regardless, if you don't, at least you'll go on a blase of glory. About id software, yes, that's id, as in the id, ego, and the superego in the psyche. We think shareware is a fine alternative to the high prices of commercial vendors. For under $12 a game, you can get the hottest, fastest, sexiest, texture-mapped game available. How can you can't top that? You can't top that! We'll answer that question in a few months. No, no. I'm, I just keep pressing A, but it's it's X. It's episode one, Escape from Wolfenstein. Episode, episode two. Episode two, Operation Ivanfost. I, episode two, Operation Eisenfost. I remember this screen. See the little picture next to Operation 2? That scared the shit out of me. It looks so scary. What are those weird mutants? Episode three, Die, Führer, Die. Episode 4, or The Fuhrer, The. Episode 4, A Dark Secret. Episode 5, Trail of Madman. Episode 6, Confrontation. Let's start uh, with uh, escaping from uh, Wolfenstein. Uh, look at he, look at he, look, he evolve. He evolve from a baby to an angry, angry man. So I play a lot of Wolf 3D uh, in, in a browser, actually. Um, back when I was game testing during uh, uh, break hours and such. I would uh, just load that up and then, you know, Wolfenstein can run on a, you know, a pocket watch nowadays, so. So it's a little fresh in my memory. The game seems a little stuttery in this version. See some weird texture flickering? Uh, uh, sorry if that's coming up in the video. I, I, you know, I can't really do anything about it since I didn't really program this game or nothing. So as a kid, I was always confused by this game since they couldn't have texture map floors and such or whatever. I always kind of thought the sky was gray or whatever color the ceiling was painted. I thought we were like in a little hedge maze, like a little maze with the walls that would only go up like seven feet high. Am I stupid for thinking that? Did anyone else think that? I I, I was just like, yeah, that, that's that's where they are. It's another weird setup, um, uh, kind of defaulting to the mouse uh, and uh, clicking in on the mouse wheel is to open up doors. I uh, can't really do much about these controls on the offset uh, since it thinks you're playing on Emma's DOS computer. Um, but it seems okay so far. It's weird, some of the first person shooters on this collection uh, uh, react completely fine with modern setups and others not so much. Remember sneaking down really late at night, uh, my parents are asleep so I could go down to the where the, we had the computer set up so I could play Wolfenstein. Uh, and then later Doom of course. All the while not having any music. I was always playing in silence except for like sound effects since I just couldn't get music working. I've, I think I've talked about this before. Hello. <gasps> Don't like it. Oh fuck, I took a shot in the face there. Don't like my little broken Blaskovitz face. This is like all his eyes all bloody. Don't like it. There's my exit. Need a bed. I want in, want in. As a kid, I thought this was some type of electric chair. I thought it was like a trap. Like I'd, I'd pull the switch and I'd just get electrocuted inside this thing. So this version does seem to have some weird problems with loading. Uh, again, don't know if it's uh, this computer setup or whatever, but it seems to struggle in some... No, oh, poor... Yeah, well, it's a Nazi dog, to be fair. Eat this gross dog food. Dogs are not going to be using it. Yeah. Wow, if, it's, if one, I, I kind of forgot it was that vicious. Like one good shot, uh, very close range will just do like 30% of your health. It's a lot. Ammo. 
I don't know why ammo is these weird little blue boxes that always kind of made me go, what? I, that's not what ammo looks like. And remember, men, as always, kill Hitler. So there's a Nazi. He's busy. He's busy thinking about how can we rebrand ourselves? But he's not thinking anything anymore. Just all the closing doors are still really effective and chilling sound. Even, you know, it's pretty low-fi by all standards. Uh, since it's so clangy and loud, it constantly makes you on edge. Something uh, some people may not remember is that this is basically uh, based on an existing franchise, Wolfenstein 3D. So the reason it was called 3D. Uh, more so than the fact that it does use the perspective, more or less. Uh, id Software based it on an existing franchise called, like, I think it was just called Escape from Wolfenstein. and Wolfenstein in the title. And it was basically an overhead stealth game where you had to be careful and, and sort of go down hallways from, like, a, like I said before, an overhead perspective. And there was kind of a stealth element to it. And then it just said, fuck it. Let's just shoot things. Whoa, there's a doggo! Fuck it, there's just shoot things. We don't care, that's easy to do. And who doesn't want to kill Nazis? Everyone does, so. All right, I think here's where we next kind of go. Oh, fuck you. I, uh, I wish their sound effects would uh, go off without getting cut off because they're so satisfying here. Nothing this way. The other, oh wow, I just randomly decided to push that one. The other thing about Wolf's I was about to, literally about to say is that, you know, rub your dick against walls. Press them all, you'll find something eventually. Or does this key work on this? Yes, it does. Oh. And that should be it for this level. And, uh, you know, I think that's Wolfenstein. I think uh, I think you guys might be familiar with it. Still kind of fun to play. Uh, still enjoy it. And uh, I didn't do too bad on that stage. Could have done a little better, but I am rusty. But yeah, still good stuff. Gonna have to quit, though. And it's, it's probably gonna... Dow thou wish... Doubt thou wish to leave with such hasty abandon? Yes, John Carmack. Yes, I do. All right, this this last game. Actually, we're gonna go out with a fucking whimper. Uh, we are playing Word Rescue. Let's try episode one. Karen Crother and Bud Pembroke again. Performing for you. There's this horrible zone tan tentacle. Two barely drawn children. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. It's gonna be a fucking clusterfuck. The story. The mean old gruzzles can't read. That's sad. And they don't want anyone else to be able to read. Oh, what a fucking bunch of dicks. They are stealing the words out of all books, which seems like... I don't know if the gruzzles have that type of manpower. Benny Bookworm needs your help to stop the gruzzles. Needs you to reunite the words with their meanings. Once you join all the words with their pictures, Benny will magically put them back into the books. I don't think that's possible. Then Benny will reveal key that will open the door to the next level. But you must find the door. Benny is your friend, and he will protect you. But... Stay away from the gruzzles. If they catch you, they'll take all the words. If you go close to the gruzzles, point them out to Benny. Press the space bar. Benny will slime him for you. And then... No problem! Be careful, Benny only has a few buckets of slime each... Ugh. Each time you make a mistake and try to join the wrong picture with the word, the new gruzzle will appear. Press W C list of words. Okay. Let's just play the game. What the fuck was that sound? What was that tone? Why is that so horrible? Okay, so I, I gotta get a rat. Oh, there's a fucking gruzzle. Slime that bitch. There's a ratto. There's a little Pikachu right underneath him too. Ratto. Gun. All right, we're starting off a little aggressive. That's okay. That's fine, I guess. That's a little strange. There's danger. Watch yourselves. All right, there's a pen. Um, all right, a pen. Pen is fine. We can all do pens. That's not a pen. That's that's. There's a pen. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Here's a cup. And then there's two more. A cup. That. I. I think I did almost. Oh shit. What the fuck is that noise? Is it something in the oven? It does pop. There's Benny the bookworm. He's given all the power of guns and rats and cop. He's almost given me the key. I have earned the right to no longer be his word slave. I can now fucking leave. Jesus, that was quick. Fuck. 
What the hell? No, no more. All right, so that was uh, a look at 3D Realms Anthology, Apogee, whatever. It, it's been kind of confusing how it's named. You know, I had a really good time with this overall. I hope some of you guys could have bared with it if you were too young to remember these games or just don't know them at all. Uh, you can see that some of them certainly have aged quite well, while others, yeah, yeah, not so much. Uh, unfortunately, like I said before, this doesn't seem available anymore, the 3D Realms Anthology. I suppose you could find it if you search the Russian dark web, but, you know, I, I, I you can probably find the best games uh, of this collection on Steam. Not all of them, but uh, certainly some of them, the most notable ones. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and, uh, remember, keep, keep Apogee, Apogee. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and remember, keep old PC games weird, because they are.